Welcome to episode two of the e-tuning process with Yash Tune. He sent me the first revision, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what he noticed with the first data log that I sent him. I'm also going to feature a short FaceTime call with him so he can give us a brief explanation of what it's like to e-tune a K24Z7 and what we're specifically doing with my car. <laughs> Okay, so he said, I adjusted the AFRs throughout the entire map. He said it was running rich. Could you please do the same again? The AFR should be spot on this go around and we can start fine tuning the low end in regards to ignition timing. That's right. If you haven't seen my last video, I got the full race cap back exhaust installed. Let's go brother. It's a little too quiet for what I want. So once I get the catalyst down by bond, I mean, should be a good increase in sound. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start the data log. Uh, I need to do 10 minutes of driving, like mixed driving through town. I have been driving for a few minutes to warm the car up and I'll tell you what, <laughs> he has already made some really good improvements and I'm gonna try my best to explain those to you right now. So the throttle response, and I mean, immediately it is better. 100% it's better. And this is without any modifications. I mean, that's that's crazy that he's able to do that. But it does feel smoother. And then one thing I'm noticing is when I let off the throttle and go back on, there's like a dead spot or maybe, I don't know how to explain it. It's just different. But wow, okay, the mid-range immediately feels different. Feels better. So I wanna say I smell something burning, which uh, obviously makes me nervous. Oh, freaking duh. You know what the burning smell is? It's the new freaking exhaust that I just got on. I've only had it on for like 10 miles. God, I'm an idiot. All right, I'm coming up on the spot where I need to do the pull. Let me hit data log right here. And we're going at 20 miles an hour, or 2000 RPM. Tell you what that felt stronger than last time for sure well hold on a second vivian was in the car with me last time so that probably made a difference in the way the car feels to me but it's it felt good it felt good all right let's go have our interview with josh uh what's up man uh, my name is uh, josh or better known as uh, yash tune on instagram i'm just doing a short little video uh, to uh, give a brief introduction about myself and uh, also uh, what we've done uh, to your car and, and what we expect in the near future. I've been tuning for a good two, two and a half years now. Self-taught, you know, learned by reading a lot, um, you know, watching YouTube videos from Jeff Evans, um, you know, HB Academy, little snippets here and there, um, but mainly reading a lot. And then towards the end, I did subscribe to Jeff Evans and, and just, man, he, mind blown. Very great guy, very knowledgeable guy. So I'll definitely recommend it to, to anyone and everyone that, that's looking to, to learn how to tune or it doesn't have to even have to be Honda um, or any Honda. It can be, you know, HP tuners, Motec, Fieldtech, whatever. Now in regards to, to Cam's car, um, you, know, we, we, you know, I've been a big fan of his. So definitely, definitely was excited when, when he hit me up, um, messaged me, asked me for a tune. So, so thank you, thank you. It's definitely an honor, Cam. Uh, to be tuning uh, your next gen. And uh, in regards to how I tune is um, base calibrations are sent without VTEC. And that's for a good, you know, four or five tunes. Um, the reason I do that, it takes a while, is because I do have to play with the cam angles. Granted, the base calibration is pretty much set, but I do like to, to see if I can squeeze out a bit by advancing or retarding the, the, the cam angles. Also, uh, playing with the ignition timing. Uh, that's a huge part as well. In correlation with the e-dyno, um, I use that as a measuring tool. Not so much as looking at the numbers, but in regards to um, if it picks up power or not. Um, 
and also I make my customers do the pool on the you know a flat even surface so that road that they choose from day one will be the, the, the you know the road that they do that their final last and final pool just because I need to even load every single time granted you know it's never going to be perfect you know there's gonna, always going to be some changes but at the same time we can adjust for that we can adjust fire for that right now we're on tune three i sent tune three hour earlier this morning tune two we were kind of playing with afr still um i did add some ignition timing by tune five i think we should start playing with vtec on his side i just right now i just making sure his afrs are good making sure you know he's been getting the best mpgs in regards to, to cruising speeds you know yeah i do ask for some stop and go traffic some highway speeds um you know uh, you know, I just want as much dead as possible. Seeing there's no VTIC inside, I mean, no VTIC enabled, you know, you can floor it, whatnot, play with the, you know, try to get as much dead as possible on, throughout the entire map. And then from there, we'll start playing with VTEC. And with VTEC, um, I'll get to see where the low cam and high cam cross. Um, that's pretty much how we determine where to set the VTEC point at. You know, you can't just pick and choose, hey, let's put out 4,000. No. Um, you have to know when and where to put the the VTEC crossover because otherwise if you put it too low you start to lose some mid-range um some low-end torque you know just could just because you hear a crossover doesn't mean you're making power so it just will just all sound and the next thing you know you're losing power and then also you got to know with cam angles these cam angles you can't play around with them say like the k24a2 even a k20 cam angles on these k24 z sums are very specific same with ignition timing Especially on stock manifold, these things are very, very knock sensitive. Um, so you can't be, can't be too crazy on them. You can't be too crazy overall with the ignition timing, because then you might start losing power. I know some people have the general idea that the more timing you add, the more, it means more power. No, not necessarily. Same with the AFRs. You know, leaner is not meaner. Sometimes you know, uh, running it. I, I like to run it rich, just because I like to keep the combustion chamber cooler, and therefore gives me the ability to play with with timing even more. And then from there on out. For the VTEC, um, play with the high cams on that side. Uh, okay, with, especially with the K24Z7s on the high cam, they have to be very specific with the cam angles. You can't treat them like a K20, you start losing power. So that's that's what we're gonna do in the near future. Um, like I said, two more tunes, I think we'll start playing with VTEC. Right now, everything's looking good so far uh, on my end. Um, from, from the injector pulse width to, to checking the fuel uh, fuel tables right now, 45 to to 48 looks like it'll be the the point where the VTEC crossover is optimized um like i said we'll start playing with uh, ignition timing i already started playing with that saw some increase um by adding two more degrees of ignition timing like i said it was extremely conservative on uh, the first uh two tunes and uh, now I'll start playing with the ignition timing you uh, know at the same time i like the the knock so i'll make sure there's no knock at all during that pull and just overall when you're cruising I don't want there to be knocking, you know, between the 2,000, 3,000 range while you're cruising. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What, what we've done, done so far, what we've been doing, uh, and what we plan on doing. So, you know, like I said, thank you again, um, Cam, for, for giving me this opportunity. Um, I'm honored, deeply, deeply honored. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, you know, take care. And uh, I'll be looking forward for that uh, log three for team three. Here soon. Well, there. Awesome. Thank you, Josh, for that brief explanation. That was that was great. It sounds and it feels like he knows what he's doing. So I just got a new revision. So this is the third revision. This will be the fourth data logs that I will be sending him. So we're about to go do that right now. All right, the new tune is loaded up. This new exhaust is too quiet, though. Definitely getting a catalyst downpipe. One, one million percent. Okay, so there is a reason why my car still is not registered in Maine. When I went to Maine a couple weeks ago, I brought all my paperwork and I had to leave it with my dad because somebody who works at the town office in Caribou was diagnosed uh, with COVID. They, they tested positive for COVID. So they had to shut down the whole entire office and Caribou, Maine is a town of 7,000 people. Like, they're, it's so archaic, their technology, that they don't even have the ability to work from home. So nothing is being done pretty sure they're about to open up hopefully next week and then we can start getting the registration process done and then i can do whatever the hell i want to this car let's begin the data log the car is warmed up there are some things that i'm noticing in some ways it feels even smoother and 
Okay, so when I when I'm just cruising like here, I'll, I'm gonna let the throttle at 2,500 RPM, third gear, and then when I lightly apply the throttle, there's like a dead space. I can hear the exhaust like it wants to pop, but it's not open enough. You know, it's it's just um, the the exhaust I have is still too restrictive. You can tell that if I had like a catalyst downpipe, it would be popping. It would be like gurgling. I can't turn too hard even though I want to. I still have my stock exhaust back there because I'm just lazy. John shift to fourth. Yeah. I'm ready for some races, boys. I'm ready for some races. Definitely feels peppier, and we are not even in VTEC yet. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. Oh, I'm not data logging. Freaking idiot face. Okay, I definitely noticed. Wow, that was different. That was better than the last pull. Damn, dude, and VTEC, oh my God. VTEC's not even on yet, guys. Josh, you're doing a great job. I don't know what you're doing, but it's working. All right, this is the fourth revision. Let's go do it. He said the next one we should be playing around with VTEC. Yeah, there's a little bit of... It's not as smooth when I hit the throttle. Oh yeah, you see that? Dude, this motor without, even without VTEC, Goes pretty good, man. I definitely need some new motor mounts. The Hasport is what everyone recommends, so I'll probably get the Hasport rear motor mount. Data log, go. 2000 RPM, smash it. Okay, so that felt pretty good. It felt pretty close to the last one. I can't say for sure that I feel a difference, but this is probably where he's making some really fine touches. So uh, let's send these to him and then see what he says. Yeah. 